absorption. I'd be using probiotics. You may want to get on some glutamine powder, which can help absorption. Certainly staying away from problem foods is your, in your interest. And then you need protein not only just for overall health and for building and regeneration, but you need protein for building and strengthening the digestive tract, which in your case is really the area that we want to be focusing on. So try the bone soup. Have you done? Have you experimented with bone soup yet, Don? I haven't tried the bone soup. Go on the bone soup. The bone soup's easy to absorb. It tends not to cause digestive problems because it is, it's liquefied and it's easy to absorb, and it contains specific nutrients for building things, especially nutrients for building the, the lining of the digestive tract as well as the connective tissue of the digestive tract. Uh, also, in addition to bone soup, you may want to experiment using, uh, using uh, smoothies. Have you tried whey protein at all? I've tried, you know, the, the one world way is about the only way that I've tried. Do it. That's the best. You don't need anything. It's, it's extremely expensive, though. It's only, ex- that's right. I mean, it's not really that expensive. It's like two bucks a dose, you know, two, maybe even three bucks a dose. It's like a couple of hamburgers. It's all relative, you know. It may be expensive in absolute terms. It may be 60 or $70 in absolute terms, but relatively speaking, right. you're spending two or three bucks for a dose of protein. Now, where are you going to go to get a good, healthy dose of protein for two or three bucks anywhere? Nowhere. So, so, yeah, in absolute terms, you know, it might be expensive, but when you compare it to everything else, it's not expensive at all, and it's well worth it. Uh, it's an awesome product. Plus, you're supporting my friend Stephen, who does a lot of really good work uh, in, in the world of nutrition. In any case, whey protein smoothies, bone soup, liquefy your protein, use digestive enzymes with all your protein, the ultimate enzymes, and you may want to try still experimenting with the eggs. Sometimes people can eat raw eggs, but they can't eat cooked eggs. Sometimes they can eat soft-boiled eggs, but they can't eat scrambled eggs. Sometimes if you use your eggs with digestive enzymes that will help you process them so experiment a little bit and always finish off your protein meals with a shot of apple cider vinegar which can help improve digestion and absorption of protein all right don i, I got to move on is there anything else that you got sounds good um magnesium oxide or magnesium what's the other one glycinate's the best the osteomag glycinate, glycinate is okay. the best form thanks so much for your call bro thank you thank okay you. take care all right lena in texas welcome to the bright side what's going on lena lena baby what are you doing? Hi, Ben. Hey, Lena. What's How up? are you? I enjoyed your presentation in Austin. Oh, thank you. And yes. oh, awesome. Oh, thank you so much. I have two quick questions. The first one is about the Knox gelatin powder. Yeah. Do you, you said to mix that and drink it right away, or do you let it sit? It doesn't matter if you drink it right away. It's collagen, basically. Gelatin is cooked collagen. It's processed collagen. Yeah. So when you eat gelatin, Knox gelatin, or the glucogel cast from longevity, you're eating collagen. You're eating the raw material building blocks for making your own collagen, which is the bulk of your connective tissue. The, large, the largest proportion of your connective tissue is collagen. Collagen, it's the most important protein in the body. When you eat that stuff, it helps your body make that stuff. So, yes, uh, it doesn't matter if it's cooked or not. Uh, it doesn't ma- I'm sorry, it doesn't matter if it's uh, fresh or not. Uh, just get it in your system. If you don't want Knox gelatin, you can use the glucogel caps. Or bone soups will get you some gelatin, too. Yeah, I made some of that bone soup. It is awesome. I it, enjoyed it very great. much. And then this, my second question is, is about the pickled beets. I yeah. love, love isn't, beets. Can one awesome? eat too many? No. Well, beets are, have some sugar in them, have a yeah, lot of sugar in them. So that's my concern, yeah. It's the sweet taste that you want to stay away from as best as possible. A tiny little bit of sweetness is good. Uh, it'll, it'll spike your insulin just a tiny little bit so you get more nutrients in the body. But long-term ingestion of this sweet, sweet taste is something that you want to stay away from, and beets are incredibly sweet. It's not like yes. processed kind of sugar, but still, it's the sweet taste that you want to be careful of. Uh, if they're fermented, that's gonna, that makes a difference. Uh, but if I would keep the beets, I wouldn't go crazy on the beets as, as valuable as they are. Beets are amazingly valuable food. But I wouldn't go crazy on the beets. But a little bit of beets certainly it's a great health tool, great for the liver, great for the blood, a wonderful source of, of, of uh, carotenes and, and plant uh, and phytonutrients. It's a wonderful food, beets, but just don't go crazy on them. Right. And then the last question is you, you're talking often about glutamine powder. What's yeah. the difference? There's an L-glutamine and then Same. is there is there? There's no R-glutamine. No, no. They, sometimes they'll call it L-glutamine, but it's all glutamine. There, it, it's you know, thing. L, okay. whenever you see L in front of a, a chemical, it's to distinguish it from R. L means left, R means right. And there's some chemical reasons why a, chemi- why a particular molecule will be designated as a left-handed molecule or a right-handed molecule. Uh, some chemicals need to be in the L form. Some need to be in the R form. But all glutamine, all the glutamine that you buy is going to be L-glutamine, even though it may not say L-glutamine. I wouldn't worry about the L or the R. Okay. Okay. Well, you're awesome. Thank, Thank you, you so Lena. Much. Appreciate it. Okay. Uh, Dave in Michigan, got a couple minutes here. What's going on? Hey, 
Yeah, we love you. Uh, uh, boy, that just threw me off. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, alkaline water. I want to know. Oh, you're Dave, I can't. And hey, you got Dave. You're you're. I can't understand. Just talk quieter right. because there's something up with your phone. Okay, how's this? Yeah, that's okay. You have a bad right. connection for some reason. What's your question, sir? Alkaline water, and my wife is getting little black uh, like freckles on her body. All right. Uh, alkaline water is just, in my opinion, a waste of money. By the time the uh, water gets into your system, by the time it goes into your stomach, it's not alkaline anymore. Now, if there's minerals in the alkaline water, you may get some of the advantage of the minerals. But some of these processes that water manufacturers use to alkalinize their water uh, to via electrical energy or whatever, they're, I'm not even sure what they're doing, uh, that's really a waste of money. Now, mineral water is a little bit different. That's a type of alkaline water that will get you some good minerals. Um, that's a little bit different. But I wouldn't waste my money on out. Al- in fact, alkalinization through food is really a very misunderstood and overrated health process, and and maybe we can talk about that tomorrow if you want to call back, Dave. Black freckles on the body involve pigmentation. Uh, Pigmentation issues are always about stress, cortisol, nutritional deficiency kinds of stresses. They may involve hormones as well. Stress hormones like estrogen uh, may be involved in pigmentation. If you are getting dark spots on the body, consider it to be a sign of an overloaded stress response. Thanks for your call, Dave. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. That's all the time we have for today. We'll continue our discussion on connective tissue tomorrow. Have a wonderful, awesome, beautiful day. We'll talk to y'all later, folks. Bye for now. Hi, this is Steve Sanchez, and based on a recent study, it was found that 57 million Americans had legal issues over the last 12 months, but only 60% of those studied sought out the services of a lawyer. Why? In a nutshell, affordability. Well, my friends at Legal Shield have created a solution that can help you not if, but when you need an attorney. For as little as $17 per month, Legal Shield will provide you unlimited access to qualified attorneys at an accomplished law firm for advice and counsel on legal issues no matter how serious or trivial. For over 40 years and with 1.4 million families across North America, Legal Shield can help you, the loyal GCN listener. Representatives are standing by now to answer your questions, so call them now at 1-855-340-SAVE. That's 1-855-340-7283 or visit them at lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com. Big business has discovered the preparedness market, and that makes it difficult to know where to go and who to trust. MyPatriotSupply.com is owned and operated by patriots just like you. Has the best prices on storable food, non-GMO seeds, water filtration devices, home canning equipment, survival and self-reliance books, and more. MyPatriotSupply.com has old-fashioned values and the absolute best customer service in the industry. Look for the deal of the day, unique affordable survival. Survival supplies that fit anyone's budget. Get same day shipping on all orders and free shipping on orders over $49. Call 866 229 0927. 866 229 0927. Or visit mypatriotsupply.com for emergency preparedness, self reliance, and food independence. Shop with a name you know and a name you can trust. Before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. MyPatriotsupply.com.